this is the ticket today hopefully we'll see how's it going everybody welcome back i'm back out the beach and hopefully we'll have a successful surf fishing day i'm at my beach i normally frequent after work and uh the conditions are pretty nice nothing too choppy it's a little windy though so i don't know how good this quality is going to be of the uh, of the audio um, but I'm just going to get rigged up. I'm going to use a couple of these uh, Gotham baits and uh, different colors of these paddle tails and we'll see what's working. I talked to one guy and uh, he said he caught a couple short ones. So we'll see if I can pull some of those guys out or maybe they're slightly larger friends. perch actually first cast little guy here we go first cast I caught a little little guy well he said a bunch of them was pretty short that might be the the size I pull out all day long that's nice not to get skunked though. I've been uh, I've been skunked the last two times I went out, so that's always encouraging. And uh, I'm just using a simple Carolina rig with probably a three and a half foot leader, 20 pound braid, 20 pound fluorocarbon leader with a size four bait holder hook on a seven foot spinning rod. 2500 size reel. Perch for stealing my base, so I switched over to the uh, crawdad. So let's see if uh, let's see if we can get hooked up here. There's a couple of perch right here in this little uh, pocket. There we go. No. Oh my goodness. So, uh, my line broke on that previous fish and I had to go all the way back to my car and tie on a new leader. And I ran out of one ounce weight, so I'm reduced to use a three quarter ounce weight. It shouldn't be a big issue, but it might, so. The only issue, it might just carry my weight. I might have to cast further up into the current. Dude, I'm so upset. I should have checked my line. I didn't retie anything from my last trip about a week ago. My line, I'm using 14 pound fluorocarbon actually, not 20. So I also could have played that a little safer instead of trying to just, you know, bring them in. My bad. Hopefully they're, uh, hopefully they're still here, whatever that was. Definitely a lot harder to feel my weight on the bottom. And that fish was pretty far out there actually. There we go. Perch. Okay, size two. There we go. Oh, dude. So, that's nine inches. That's like a 10 inch perch. <laughs> dude, 
Heck yeah. That could have been a PB actually. My PB is 10 and a half inches. And that was, so the wingspan of my hand from pinky to, to uh, thumb is nine inches on the dot. So that fish was either a PB or very close to a PB. So the way I'm fishing is just constant retrieve and I'm kind of varying the speeds of which I'm retrieving and then giving a little pop here and there. smaller perch. Ah, I came off in the wave. Dang it. There we go. Oh man. inches give or take I choked this one I need my flash fish these are some nice fish you might be wondering like why I don't keep any of them it's just because this the water here the water quality is pretty bad like this the fish that live in this area are they're big but I mean I, I don't I, I only keep stuff that I catch either south of uh, Huntington, like an orange, or Ventura. Just uh, the water quality here in the bay is just, I mean, it's the worst in California, so. Come on. Dang. I felt like I set the hook on that one pretty good. little guy did he come off he came off man I've been hooked up and lost five fish bringing them in and not like instantly like they were hooked they were on and then they just came off I'm just not stick I don't know if I'm not setting the hook hard enough dude there's fish there are fish, super short, up and close. They're just being super finicky.
goodness. Dude, that thing's a tank. Definitely 10 inches. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> Look at that thing. Uh, we'll let him go. I think that's a BB. I'm gonna look back at the footage and uh, at my picture that I took. But I'm pretty sure that's my new PB. I wish I had my official tape measure. But <laughs> holy smokes, that was a huge huge perch for my standards for for the fish that i've caught all right guys well i think this will be just about it i'm gonna say my outro here while i fix this spot because who knows i might catch a fish while i'm saying it out but either way i'm leaving i'm getting cold uh, but i appreciate you guys coming and watching um, it was a pretty good day. I mean, I think I got my personal best surf perch. I have to just go back and look at the footage and then give a, an estimate, like a rough estimate on how big it is. But, I mean, it, it looks like it had the uh, capability of being my PB. So we'll see. But either way, a lot of fun i mean i caught one little guy and then uh two pretty big ones and then that one last one was massive i hooked into a lot of fish today and i lost a bunch but i think that was mainly just because i have a barbless hook and as i'm saying the outro one last fish for the road Yeah. Yeah, man, that's like, these fish are all on the, like the 10 inch mark. It's pretty good. This one's a female. Whew. So there she goes. Take that, four good fish that I've caught today. And one little guy. I wanna say thank you guys so much for reaching 400 subscribers. I mean, that's a lot more than I thought I was gonna reach. And uh, we're, we're coming up on one year since my first video. So uh, thank you guys so much for the support, the kind comments you guys have left and uh, mainly just sticking with me and learning as I'm learning myself how to do this whole saltwater fishing. So here's to it uh, the next year of uh, hopefully having some good times on the water. So all of my gear and then all of the music I use in the video is gonna be in the description down below. I appreciate you guys coming out and hanging with me today. And I'll see you guys in the next video.